A dentist use, uses a small mirror attached to a thin rod to examine one of your teeth. Okay. When the tooth is 1.2 cm in front of the mirror, okay, and the image it forms is 9.25 cm behind the mirror. Okay, so here uh, the tooth is uh, 1.2 cm in front of the mirror. So this one should be the object distance u. Okay. The image, okay, the image it form is 9.25 cm behind the mirror. Okay, so, uh, so this one, this is the image distance. 9.25 cm should be the image distance. Uh, so, find the focal length of the mirror. Okay, focal length and state the type of mirror used. Okay, so, this is the focal length. And uh, he asked about the type of mirror. Okay, type of mirror. Is it a, a concave mirror or con, a convex mirror? Okay, and then he also asked about the magnification of the image. Uh, so this is the big M. Uh, big M, uh, magnification of the image. Alright, so uh, how is it look like? Uh? So I uh, this is how I draw. Okay, so um, yeah. So just now, uh, it talks about the uh, object distance. Okay, uh, so here I've drawn. Uh, yeah, so we can see uh, for mirror, for mirror, uh, the light is uh, reflected. Okay, uh, this is the incident ray, and uh, this is the reflected ray. Huh? Light is always reflected because we know that. The light cannot pass through the mirror. Yeah, the light cannot pass through the mirror. So whenever I start doing this question, I always draw first. Yeah, I always draw, and I must draw the incident ray and reflected ray first. Yeah, this is very important. Must draw the incident ray and reflected ray. Okay, because later we're going to compare. Yeah? we're going to compare. So just now, uh, the object distance is one point two two zero cm. Okay. And uh, this object distance is of course positive because it is uh, uh, same side as the incident ray. Ah, so uh, this one, okay. Uh, back to this um, this method. Yeah, I use this method. If object object distance, I compare with incident ray. If uh, IR, if or image distance, focal length, or radius of curvature, or the others. We, I compare with reflected ray. Uh, that's why I must first draw the incident ray and reflected ray first. Yeah, I must draw the incident ray and reflected ray first because we need this to compare to get the positive or negative sign. Uh, okay, uh, so always uh, draw the incident ray and reflected ray first before you start doing this question. So, uh, yeah, U compare with IR, VFR compare with RR, reflected ray. Yeah? So if same side, then it's positive. If opposite side, then it's negative. Okay? Uh, so uh, this U, U compare with incident ray. Yeah? U compare with incident ray. So it is at the same side. Ah, same side, same side, then it's positive. Uh, so that u is u is positive. Now, uh, he say the now the question also the say the image it form is nine point two five cm behind the mirror. Image is formed behind the mirror. Okay, this is the mirror. This is the front and this is the back, and the image is formed behind the mirror at the back of the mirror, uh, over here. Okay, so. Uh, this uh, image distance should put positive or negative. Uh, so image distance uh, compare with refracted ray. Just like I say. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, again, um, yeah. Just now the image distance should compare with refracted ray. Yeah? Image distance V, the V should compare with refracted ray. If same side positive, opposite side negative. So, 
image distance V compared with the refracted ray. U compared with incident ray, incident ray. V compared with reflected ray. So seems like V is opposite. Yeah, opposite of reflected ray. Uh, v compared with reflected ray. Opposite side is negative. Yes. So V is opposite of opposite of reflected ray. So V is negative. Okay. Uh, negative. So here you must put negative sign. Yeah, negative sign. So V negative means it is virtual image and it is opposite of refracted ray. Okay. Uh, and then another thing we know that uh, virtual image is always upright. Uh, it's always upright. That's why I draw uh, is upright image instead of inverted. Uh, up virtual is always upright. Okay. And then virtual image I put dotted line. Eh? Dotted line. Okay. Uh, so V is negative. Huh? This is the first thing you must know. Now find the focal length and the type of mirror. Okay, then it's magnification. So A, how to find the focal length and the type of mirror? Okay, so we already have the object distance and image distance. So for mirror, to find the focal length, we just use the formula uh, 1 over U plus 1 over V equal to 1 over F. Okay, so we substitute um, the object distance. Uh, we, this is a uh, 1.2 uh, cm. Okay, uh, plus um, ah, this one got negative. So this image distance got negative because it is virtual image. So remember to put the negative sign. Uh, one, uh, nine, negative 9.25 cm uh, equal to 1 over f. So we calculated f equal to positive uh, 1.38 cm. Oh, it's positive. So what is the positive means? Positive means it is a converging mirror. Ah. Positive means it has real focal point. Uh, positive means it can focus the light. It can focus the light. So it is a converging mirror. Yeah? Or converging is also called concave. Sorry. Uh, it's also called concave mirror. Okay. Uh, converging mirror is also called concave mirror. Yeah. So is it really a concave mirror? Let's see. Yeah? So, because we know that F is uh, positive, and we know that um, we know that the focal length, the focal length always compare with refracted ray. F focal length compare with refracted ray. So this F, this F should compare with refracted ray. If uh, F and refracted ray is same side, then positive. Opposite side negative. Ah, F compare with refracted ray. So seems like this F is a uh, positive, positive. So in order to have uh, F positive, means means F must be same side with refracted ray to be positive. Ah, so the focal length is in order to have a positive focal length. Ah, means the F must be same side with the refracted ray. Ah, where is the refracted ray? This here is the refracted ray. So that means F, F should be same side, F should be same side as refracted ray. That means um, the focal length is over here. Ah, this is the here. Ah, that means the focal length uh, here F positive. Ah, same side as refracted ray. That means, since the focal length is over here, that means the the mirror, the 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 curve of the mirror is curved over here. Ah, so this is a concave mirror. This is a concave mirror. Ah, so uh, if f positive, that means the r the R here also positive. Yeah? 
F and R same side as refracted ray. So that means F and R is positive. Understand? Okay. Yeah. So um, so F positive means it is same side with refracted ray. Okay. Uh, then about the magnification. Magnification is the formula is um, M equal to H I over H O, which is equal to uh, negative V over U. We already have the V uh, and U. So just substitute inside. Okay, just substitute inside. V is negative 9.25 cm uh, divided by uh, 1.2 cm object distance. So we will get um, the answer uh, positive uh, 7. Point, negative negative positive. So we get positive 7.71. Ah, so what, what is it mean by magnification positive? What is it mean by positive magnification? Positive means positive magnification means uh, it is upright image. Ah, it is upright image. So confirm that our virtual image is upright. Ah, upright. So that's why our M we get positive upright image. And also this value is more than one. It's more than one. That means it is magnified image. Ah, this here, this one it means more than one means magnified image. Yeah. Uh, because M is more than 1. Okay, the magnitude of the magnification is more than 1. Means it's magnified image. So what type of image is this? We get a virtual upright magnified image. Voom. Okay, our image. Thank you.